Hello and welcome to yet another episode from Computers Made Easy. Google has announced a slew of updates for its virtual classroom platform Google Classroom and the video conferencing platform Google Meet. This is to improve the online education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The updates were announced during the Learning with Google event that took place yesterday. The software giant says that over 50 new features are coming across its education products that aim to enhance e-learning. Google Suite for Education or G Suite for Education is being rebranded as the Google Workspace for Education. This will include your old classroom, Google Meet, Gmail, calendar, the drive, Google Docs, sheets, slides and much more. The Google Workspace for Education is now available in four versions. The first one comes under the free version which is the Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals. This is the same as earlier. Under the second section, Google has paid versions and it has three editions available. The first one is Google Workspace for Education standard. The second is Google Workspace for Education plus and the third one is teaching and learning upgrade this can be added to the fundamental or the standard plans under the paid versions google workspace for education standard includes fundamentals and enhanced security through the security center audit logs and advanced mobile management in google workspace for education plus google provides us with fundamentals plus the standard plan plus the teaching learning upgrade plus advanced security and analytics and teaching learning capabilities and much more at the moment google gives us Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals and Google Workspace for Education Plus. This is available right now. And by the 14th of April this year, we will be having Google Workspace for Education Standard and the Teaching Learning Upgrade also available to us. All the current users of G Suite for Enterprise for Education will be upgraded to the Google Workspace for Education Plus plan. So now let's dive into this features that Google gives us and see what all we have with us. Now met some of these plans and add-ons are on paid basis. So as I go through the video, the rupee symbol will tell us which of these add-ons are on a paid basis. Moving on to each of these add-ons in the Google Classroom. The first one that I want to select here is teachers will now be able to select their favorite educational technology tools and content and then assign it directly to the students without logging in extra. That means that teachers can be able to use tools like Kahoot and Nearpod directly without extra logging in. I remember I used to use Edpuzzle extensively and had to make another login for that purpose. So I believe that should not be a problem anymore because admins can now install these add-ons for the teachers in the domain itself. The next add-on is something that teachers would really love. Admins will now be able to populate the class in advance with the student information roster syncing. Earlier, it used to be the complete headache of the teacher to send the link of invite to the student or maybe even the class code. So now that can be handled at the admin level. Not just that, student grades from the classroom can also be directly exported into the SIS. Additionally, classroom audit logs and activity logs will also be available very soon. 
So all these features make it really an exciting advantage to use Google Classroom. Teachers now will have improved mobile grading in the classroom. That means they can easily switch between giving an assignment, correcting an assignment or even sending a message to the students. This basically means that feedback can be given on the go. The next add-on provides the teachers with student engagement tracking features. That means it tracks which students submitted which assignments on which day. The Google Classroom will now have rich text features. That means both students and teachers will be able to use bold, italics, underline and bullet features across the web, iOS and even the Android platforms. The Google Classroom is also going to have originality reports that help detect plagiarism. This will now soon be available in 15 languages. The next add-on is sure to win the hearts of many. Google Classroom will now work in low or no internet areas. With the Classroom updated app, the student can start off his or her work offline, can review assignments, can open drive attachments, write in Google Docs, everything without even the internet connection. Work, whatever has been done by the student, will sync whenever the connection is available again. I'm sure this is something that will really benefit a lot of students who work from very low connectivity areas or even at times when there is no internet connectivity in remote areas. Now we all know that students upload their assignments by taking photographs. The several photographs are combined together to create one document. Now Google Classroom add-ons will have new tools that allow the combining of these photos into a single document. It will help them crop these photos, rotate the images or even adjust and work with low lighting. So I'm sure this is going to be a very big beneficial point for both students and teachers. The next add-on gives more engagement and inclusivity features for students. Students will now be able to select emojis and even skin tones, though that will be controlled by the teacher. As a feature which is immediately available in the classroom, Google has introduced its own free introductory computer science curriculum. It's called the CS First. This you will be able to see immediately in the classroom. Talking about storage, the new policy will provide schools and universities with a baseline of 100 TB of cloud storage which will be pooled and shared by all the users of that institute. Google says this amount of storage would be enough for over 100 million documents, 8 million presentations or over 400,000 hours of video. This policy will come into effect in July 2022. Those were some of the add-ons of Google Classroom. I am now going to touch upon just a few add-ons of Google Meet. This is just a small little feature listing that I am giving here. The first one being that for meetings that are scheduled from the classroom, students won't be able to now join before the teacher arrives. Teachers will have control over who can join the meeting or who can chat or who can even share their screen. Teachers will also be able to have a mute all button 
with which they will be able to mute all the participants of course the participants are free to unmute themselves but that too will be controllable so those were some of the features that google announced on 18th february 2021 thanks for tuning in today do subscribe for many more such informative videos thank you